Hey, this is Josh over at Mills GM and Baxter. Today we are checking out the 2017 Suburban Premier. Is it shiny? <laughs> this thing is just gorgeous. Uh, a lot of people ask, especially people named Greg, ask me what the difference between this and an LT is. Well, let's go over that real quick. First and foremost, we're going to start up front. HID headlamps, that's high intensity discharge, super bright, awesome headlights. That is exclusive to the Premier as well as the Denali lineup. Forward collision alert, forward sensors. So you have the parking sensors like normal. That's those tabs right up there. You look up here, there's a couple different camera systems right there, right by the uh, rear view mirror. What those are gonna do is they're gonna watch low speed collision Anything that's about this far away, it's gonna hit the brakes for you if you don't hit them in time. High speed collision is going to first warn you and then gently tap the brakes, slow you down, or jam on them if it needs it and it gets too close. This vehicle will actually bring you to a complete stop at a high speed or a low speed. Get the upgraded uh, rims on this. I believe this is 22s. Oh, 20s, I lied. Passive entry system. Lock and unlock the doors. Very easy. Not only do you have a power uh, driver's seat, you have a power passenger seat with lumbar, all the adjustments right there. Wireless charging, heated cooled seats, sunroof. But that's not all. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Continuous variable real-time dampening magnetic shock system. Boy, that's a breath and a half. Call it magnetic ride control. I highlighted that in the email. You can't really tell any difference, but what you're going to notice is uh, when you're driving it, the shocks are always adjusting. Kind of get in there and see if I can see the shock system. It's hard to see. It's one of those things where you can't really tell until you're driving it at 60 down the highway. Rear sensors on it. Of course, power lift gate. Most things have a power lift gate now. The deep tinted glass in this vehicle is all UV resistant. So it's about like wearing 30 FPS, including the uh, windshield on it. We'll get to that more in a second. Try to remember all the unique things here. Second road is heated as well. Blind side alert, driver's alert right there. Power pedals, so the pedals adjust with the memory seats. Power telescoping steering wheel that adjusts with the memory seats. And it, one, two, and easy out. So pedals, mirror, steering wheel, seat, everything is going to adjust to the driver. If you look at the glass here, it's thicker. You can see how thick that is. So it's a thicker, more shadow resistant glass. That is UV resistant. Like I said, up here, if you notice the difference, you usually see it pretty good on video. There's a slight difference. It's not letting in as much UV light. When was the last time you put on sunscreen to go on a long car drive up to Brainerd uh, on vacation? Probably never. Well, you're not gonna burn, you're not gonna cook out. Also, obviously keeps heat from entering the vehicle. The seats, premium upgraded leather on the seats. You got a nice, thick, durable leather. Dual density memory foam on the seats, so they're more comfortable. A little bit more firm and soft at the same time. You gotta love that. Leather appointed steering wheel accents. All this is leather. It's not leather trimmed. Wireless charging right there, if your phone is capable of it. Set it right there, it'll charge. Heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, alert like I was telling you those cameras that are right up there we can adjust it there that's about it for um, most of the unique features I'm sure I missed a couple that I highlighted on that build sheet thanks for watching and let me know if you have any more questions